Hello and welcome to this video for Orpheus, sheet music reader for Android. Today I'm going to show you how to create and manage set lists. Let's start by opening the application. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you already have your charts and music folders and settings and so on already set up. We're just going to focus on set lists. So as you can see, I'm on the set lists tab of the app and I already have one set list for my gig on the weekend all set up and ready to go. Let's demonstrate creating a new set list. Up in the top, you can see this plus icon. I'm going to click that to create my new set list. First, I'm going to give my set list a name. How about Rosie and Tom's wedding? If you'd like to, you can set a date for the event. Uh, let's make it Saturday the 27th of August. Now you can see that I've saved and I've got my new set list all ready to go. If I click on the set list, we can see that there actually aren't any charts in it yet. So as it's prompting me, I'm going to add some charts via the action bar. Adding charts here pops up all the charts that I've already got configured in the all charts section of the app. For now, I'm just going to add a bunch of charts at random. Now, when I hit add charts, this is going to pop them into the set list in the order in which I selected them. So you'll want to take care and select these charts in the order that you're going to play them on the gig. That's enough for now. Let's hit add charts. Great. So here you can see all my charts up here. You may also have noticed in the action bar, we have a few other options. I can add more charts, delete charts, reorder charts. I can edit details. Uh, that means editing details of the set list, such as the set list title or date, and I can delete the set list entirely. Let's demonstrate a few of these. How about we delete a couple of charts? Let's delete these two. So I'm going to select the charts I want to delete and I'm going to hit the trash can icon. And you can see these two charts have been removed from my set list. Let's say I've forgotten something and I need to add a few extra charts. Let's just again pick a few at random. Kobe Cabana, that's a good one. All right. All right, so now I've added those to the bottom of the list. Now let's say, yeah, Cobra Cabana is a great chart. Let's say we want to start with that one. So I'm going to use the reorder function to drag and drop the charts into the correct order. Cobra Cabana is now at the top and I might, let's say I want to move around a few others to get them perfect for my gig. When I'm done reordering, I can simply click the tick to save the new order. Now let's take a look at um, what would happen on a gig. So let's assume I've arrived at the set list screen and I'm ready to play and I've opened up the set list. Let's start with chart number one. I'll open up Cobra Cabana and as you can see from this screen, I can just flip, turn my pages left and right just as I would normally. The only difference uh, from all charts is when you do get to the end of the chart, you can continue turning. So if I do another right turn, it will open the next chart, which we can see as April in Paris. This is helpful so you can move quickly through the set list on the gig. At any point, you can go back to the previous page by clicking the top left hand icon here to go back and you can see I'm back at the chart list. This could be helpful if you wanted to say uh, skip a chart or um, jump to somewhere else in the set list um, or, or perform any other action obvious like pulling up a new chart. <clears throat> On the set list screen, there's also um, a long press on the set list, which will shortcut to delete the entire set lists without going into the screen. That concludes the video showing you how to create and manage set lists in Orpheus.